Welcome everybody to another battle featuring the Bronze Age, this time over in East Asia. In this battle, we're going to see a showdown between the Shang Dynasty and the rebels under King Wu of Zhao, which following this battle will replace the Shang Dynasty with the Zhao Dynasty as the power holders over ancient China. This battle was fought primarily between the Zhao state rebelling against the Shang Dynasty and the Zhao army toppling the less experienced, less dominant Shang military power. The Zhao victory would lead to the establishment of the Zhao Dynasty and was used throughout history as the justified example of a doctrine known as Mandate of Heaven, the idea that the gods or a god favor one faction to rule over a particular dominion. And this battle will certainly give the Zhao the belief that they had a divine right to rule China. I'll see you guys on the battlefield. Welcome everybody to the battlefield of Mu Ye. We are coming at you with a force of 64,000 for the Zhao, 50,000 for the Shen. And if you fight, if you find your courage, I can promise you victory. What say you? That's a little speech from uh, our emperor back here, wherever he is. I'm not sure which unit he's in. I think he's in the chariots. I think, okay, I think I found him. The guy with the special cape. That's got to be him. Uh, so, yeah, we are... Let's make sure they on a scale, I believe, 20 to 1. So we'd sold you see here. I'd actually be a little bit more than that, but uh, I believe we're on a scale of about 20 to 1. So we'd sold you see here represents about 20 of those at the historical battle. Uh, but ancient accounts aren't always trustworthy, so it's hard to know just how many soldiers were in this fight. But I'm going with the numbers of 64,000 for the Zhao, 50,000 for the Shang. We are assaulting this town held by the Shang Dynasty. Move our troops forward. The Shang are hiding most of their troops back here. Like they've lit some fires in the market. I didn't do that. So this town better not blame me for the destruction of this place. Moving up some of our lighter troops. I believe we're using archers. These guys gonna destroy this fence. Oh, come on, guys. Just talked about this. Shang Dynasty is already destroying this town. We don't need to do any damage. So, what I'm doing here is kind of taking notice of the geography of this town. What I'm going to do is send half my force here with some of the archers to support them. Then I'm going to send the other half around and try to get around one of the flanks. Uh, this kind of subdivision that is in ruins. Man, Shang Dynasty really does not care about you guys. Well, it kind of fires in this... Uh, this little neighborhood here. Is, there, is this town on fire too? Guys, this is... I'm, I'm the rebels, but I got a question. Who's uh, Who's got the right to lead China? 
seeing all this destruction. So I, I'm using, uh, I believe I'm using the Pontus faction to represent the Zhao Dynasty troops, and I think I'm using the Seleucid faction to represent the Shang Dynasty troops. I guess I should say Zhao Rebels, because they're only rebels at this point. my infantry getting into position here. Now, just like in the Middle East, this time in history, the Chinese military under the Shang Dynasty just really wouldn't have been a massive force of well-armored soldiers. That's just not how battles were fought in the Bronze Age. Most soldiers were levy troops uh, or militia called to service for a certain amount of time. And that's what we're seeing here. We do have some professional chariots, and I believe we even have some dismounted chariot troops. We're using the Pontic Swordsmen to represent the uh, the infantry that would have deployed, come to the battlefield by chariot, but fought on foot. So that's who these guys are. These are really the only professional soldiers we have, along with the chariot crews. We're getting troops in position on this flank over here. But there's not a lot of fighting yet, and I feel like there might be a group of uh, Shang Dynasty troops planning an ambush, because I don't see a lot of them. I mean, I'm sure there's some still hidden back here, but there's got to be more soldiers than this. I think we are starting to take some hits from Shang archers. And I am leaving some of my infantry behind as reserves on this side. And our archers are getting some shots in, some really nice shots actually, on the Shang troops up on this hill. On my right, we're getting this infantry force into position. It does look like we are spotting some more of those Shang troops. Looks like they are guarding the hill here. And maybe up here as well. They have a unit here, which is in a good spot, because if I do come up this hill here, they can move into block. And if I don't, they can always reinforce this hill over here. Good positioning by the Shang. Double time! Well, my archers are getting some great hits in on the enemy. My infantry are just kind of holding back. What I'm trying to do is draw him, the shitty troops him, off of the hill to I'm meet me die. down here, where my archers can get better angles on them. So I'm not in a hurry to rush this. Town center. Troops around out there. And 
And it looks like the Shang are finally committing to an assault on our boys down here under the palm trees. And now we are committing to the fight. We're going to try to overpower this single unit. Trying to hold us back. And then storm the center of the town. So we get the cinematic view here. Oh. It's only going to let us see what view of the general looks like. But we are breaking this unit here. And we are moving the chariots forward. As we can see from... Where are they? How far back are my chariots? Oh, here we go. There they are. I was going to say, where, where did this uh, rebel leader go? So, a lot of these Shang troops were actually back here. I think that's why we were meeting pretty thin resistance uh, at the main battle. But they are going to put up a fight to hold this flame. So we may have found the Shang front on our flame. Oh, it's a little interesting. Mark the double! We do have archers over here as well, but it's a good shot to it as we launch our assaults on this hill. Over here, we're pushing further up the hill. Overpowered that one unit, we're moving into the center of the town now. But they deploy some of their own. It's like heavy infantry. He's going to be the uh, Echo's bodyguards here. But our archers are harassing them. You can see we're pouring a lot of infantry up this hill, bringing in, I believe, our heavy infantry into this fight as well. Over here, it's a different story. So we're moving another unit to the far flank over here and try to get up and around. So we can get troops up this hill, move over here, and catch some of the shame troops from behind over here. Needing some stiff resistance. I believe a single unit of spearmen. And the crows will feast tonight. As they are already circling. Meaning stiff resistance in the center of the town as well. 
as it looks like the Eppler's bodyguard maybe leading the defense of this section of the fight. Arrows coming in and out of every direction. It's like the Shang archers may be actually targeting our own archers. Trying to figure out where those arrows are going. If they are, they're not hitting the mark. They may be trying to target down a heavier infantry. Over here, it does look like we are breaking some of these Eastern Spearmen, some of the Shank infantry, trying to hold us back down here at the base of this hill. I think that was a huge thanks to the unit we moved up this hill and around. We're moving more troops around this hill as well, bringing up, I believe, some archers closer to the fight so we can start hitting some of the Shang troops out here in the center of the town. We've got infantry still fighting, but gaining ground on this position as well. This group of spearmen may break any moment now. Over at the main fight, I guess what uh, I would consider the main fight, but maybe not the shame. Uh, more troops from both armies are feeding in to defend. Uh, and it's pretty marketplace, which once again, uh, I just want to make sure that this town knows I did not destroy the market, okay? This is the same emperor who destroyed this market. The first thing I'll do is the new emperor of China is repairing this place. That's a Zhang Dynasty guarantee. Or, wow, a Zhao, Zhao Dynasty guarantee. Looks like we are pushing away deeper into the tower. There is going to be a grudge match.
one thing we're trying to do is get a unit through here. And the more of this, not my fault, destroy marketplace to get uh, another angle on the enemy over here. We're now using flaming arrows to try to break the spirit of the Shang Dynasty through flaming arrows, fighting the way to the shields of the enemy, trying hard to dodge those arrows. Elsewhere, we broke through this side of the town and we are making a beeline to the enemy position to surround those troops. We do have some light infantry trying to GTFO. We're going to try to catch up to them as well. Charging through the ruins of this destroyed marketplace. So once again, not my fault. <laughs> not my fault. All right, it's not me. But uh, charging through the interior of this town, running down Shang Dynasty light troops like our troops. We get our own archers closer to the main fight. Flaming arrow to his shoulder, and he's still standing there like a two chad. Like, no, I'm not worried. My cape will put out the fire. This battle is almost over. Gotta give a quick shout out to our Patreon subscribers, folks that make all the magic happen. You guys are interested in. Go to your Patreon, you can head to the link in the video description below. Get signed up for one of several awesome tools with great benefits.
And we're seeing a chain route begin among the Shang troops as we feed our soldiers and the credit. Slay as many of them as possible. We have the Emperor's bodyguard making the final stand here. Also, I believe some Shang archers came back to the fight, and we are trying to sweep up the last of them back here. One with some spearmen, it looks like. I think they are getting the heck out of town. You realize the battle is lost, not much they can do. We also had some. Shang troops come back to harass our archers back here. And I think we've run them off as well. The final act of the battle will be to take out the Emperor himself, at least his bodyguard. Looks like these bodyguards may be about to break. They are getting surrounded. Any opportunity to escape the battle fades with every passive moment.
like a boa, we constrict the enemy soldiers tighter and tighter as their numbers become smaller and smaller in their final stand over control of this town center. Like they have broken. And this battle is just about over. If you guys liked this battle, feel free to hit the like button. If you want to see more battles from the Bronze Age East Asia, let me know in the comments below which battles you'd like to see. And if you want to stay up to date on all of our battle reenactments, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. A small group trying to push their way out of the crowd to salvation. But they fall. And that's going to be the battle, guys. I'll see you back in the war room. Much like the Trojan War, after the Battle of Muye, China would descend into chaos. Not only would the Shang Dynasty rulers and many of their aristocratic family members commit suicide, but the immediately following Zhao Dynasty would be plagued by a new Dark Age in China. The Zhao Dynasty would be plagued by what we refer to as the Warring States period, a period of several civil wars that would plague ancient China until finally one faction, the Qin Dynasty, would eventually rise to power and attempt to reestablish some sort of control and peace over the early ancient Chinese region. Just like with Troy, it's hard to know exactly how to separate myth from fiction when discussing this battle, but one thing that is for certain the conflict spelled the end of one dynasty and the beginning of another, highlighting the transition from one faction ruling China to another. And perhaps that may be all we can really pull from this conflict.